Program Director with a software technology company. I thank Whistle Drive for this opportunity to share my thoughts with the industry and fraternity. The global coronavirus pandemic has impacted businesses hugely, and this impact has resulted in multiple businesses having closed, stock markets have tumbled, oil prices have fallen, the consumer behavior has changed totally, and as a result of that, so has the demand for products. Specialty managers will have to step up their game. We will have to ensure as our number one priority, the health and safety of our employees, right? The health and safety of not only our employees, but we'll also be responsible for our vendors, partners, and visitors who visit our facility. Long-term plan will have to be made by us FMs for the employees who are working from home. This is going to be a long-term trend. We will have to ensure, work with the management to ensure the maximum comfort for these employees. As FMs, we will also have to ensure an alternative space for these employees. Why the requirement for an alternative space? There are some employees who are not able to work from home. In addition, there are also employees who, though they have the capability to work from home, will not be able to do, do so at times because of confidential, confidentiality requirements and sensitivity of data. At those points of time, they will have to go into an alternative space, which is either co co-working space or an alternative space set up exclusively for your own organization and this will have to be managed very well including sanitization and provision of all the facilities for the employees who are working out of there. Third, management and cost and resources will be very crucial for FMs in this scenario. Right? Also, please note FMs will have a major stay in the strategy of the company going forward. This is an opportunity for FMs to showcase our role as partners with the, the top management. Going on, another area which we FMs deal with is the transportation. Now, transportation has been impacted majorly also with this global pandem pandemic. All of you will re realize that mass transportation also contributed towards the pandemic in the spread of the pandemic right another crucial part of transportation is freight distribution please note distribution of food and other critical resources is crucial during this pandemic and post the pandemic too and any lacuna in this will be more damaging than the pandemic itself. I repeat what I'm saying. Freight management is crucial and any bypass in this or failure in this will result in more damage than the pandemic does by itself, right? Smart transportation is growing at 9% and $100 billion is in the kitty. The pandemic which is ongoing and post pandemic will provide a great impetus for this, right? This is the need of the hour. People in the start transportation system will, will be the backbone of the transportation system in the coming days. Companies will focus more and more on co or company management transportation systems rather than self to work options in view of the safety and security of the employees. Two more things which will, which will play a critical role during the pre and the, during this pandemic and post pandemic period are self driven automobiles and delivery drones. Both these technologies will play a crucial role in flattening the curve of the pandemic. This is very critical, right? Public pri private partnership is going to be a must. 
both private and public prayers will realize that the partnership will be crucial in the coming days. Technology such as AI, machine learning, IoT will help tremendously in these days and post the pandemic. It will serve as an impetus for the use of technology in transportation. This technology and transportation mix will be crucial in the coming days. Thank you friends. It was wonderful to interact with all of you.